What's good? This is Trey. Welcome to this presentation. The topic for today is fuck feelings. All right. So here's what I mean by fuck feelings. Um, right in this current state that I'm in right now, I feel good. Right. I feel peaceful. I feel joyful. Um, I feel present to the moment. I feel good. But I had to work on myself a lot to get to this point where I feel good more than I feel bad, right? But this was a lot of work I had to work on myself, okay? But what was this work that I had to work on myself? It was me really getting good at creating this separation between me, the consciousness, the spiritual being, and the feeling. I had to start recognizing when a feeling would come up, right? Let's say it's a negative feeling. Let's say it's a feeling of sadness or a feeling of, you know, me feeling sorry for myself or a feeling of anger or whatever. When these feelings would come up, I would be aware of them and I would observe them and I'd be like, okay, this feeling comes up and right away, it's like I want to act from that feeling because a feeling is so powerful. But what I worked on is I worked on my ability to see the feeling, observe it. So understand that I'm not the feeling and let the feeling just pass, right? I accept it. It's like, okay, if I feel anger or frustration or I feel pissed off or whatever, I'd be like, okay, I feel pissed off. I feel anger. I feel frustrated. But I know it's temporary. So let me not act from this feeling because this is a negative feeling if I act from this feeling I'm going to create destruction negative feelings when you act from negative feelings you create destruction you make a decision or take an action that's more than likely going to decrease the quality of your life okay but if it's a positive feeling I don't say fuck you to the positive feeling the positive feeling I'm like okay I align with it I go into it I enjoy it right like I'm doing this presentation and I'm in this good feeling and I'm going with it. I'm accepting it and I'm and I'm utilizing it. I'm harnessing it. Whereas a negative feeling or a negative emotion, I'm not going to act from that place. I'm going to let it pass. Right? Like I'm not going to go and do a presentation or I'm not going to go on a date with a girl or I'm not going to do something if I'm in a negative feeling or a negative emotion. Right? I'm going to let it pass. But I'm not going to um, like try to resist it right i'm not gonna try to resist it i'm not gonna you know try to judge it i'm just gonna understand that as a human you know going through this human experience we will have different feelings right sometimes we'll feel sad sometimes we'll feel happy sometimes we'll feel this and i just get that it's temporary so i'm not foolish enough to think like oh you know i need to feel happy all the time or i need to feel something all the time i know different feelings are going to come and go Right. But I also know I have the power to observe the feeling and not act from it because I'm not the feeling. I'm not the emotion. Right. People mess up because they start identifying as the feeling, identifying as the emotion. They think they are it and they act from it. They make decisions from it. And I used to be like that. I used to, you know, I would feel nervous or I would feel fearful, I feel anxious, and I'd become it. I'd literally not, you know, for me, it was me not taking action, right? When I feel fear, when I feel nervous, when I feel these things, oh, I would use it as an excuse not to take action, or oh, I don't feel like it. But then, you know, time would pass, time would pass, and I'd be in the same condition. I still haven't hit my goals. I still am not where I want to be. And it's because I was aligning with negative feelings, negative emotions that were holding me back. And I said, fuck feelings, man. I started valuing my intelligence. I started valuing my willpower. I started valuing discipline. These are the things that get shit done when the feeling is not the one you want. Because you're not always going to have the feelings you want. Now, the more you practice discipline and you practice applying your intelligence and you start setting up a, a, a routine within your day that creates the emotions you want, You'll start experiencing more of the positive emotions you want, right? But you're still, you know, here and there, negative emotions are going to come up here and there. 
And I, you can't be using that as an excuse not to do what you're supposed to do. So I had to start valuing my intelligence, valuing willpower, valuing discipline, valuing integrity, because feelings and emotions are temporary and I can't value them like that. Like if it's a positive emotion, of course, you know, if it's a positive emotion, yeah, I'll go on for the ride. I'll, you know, I see these emotions as like rides. Like when an emotion comes, like I'll ride the emotion, right? But I'll pay attention. Like if it's in the net, if it's a negative emotion, I've learned from my mistakes. Do not act from negative emotions. Do not make decisions from negative emotions. You will regret it later. And so I just, I just, it happened enough times where I was like, okay, I get it. I learned my lesson. Like I'm not going to act for, and now I can see it when other people are doing it. I can see it and I can see, man, I've, I've come a long way because I can see, you know, other people struggling with this stuff. So now I just try to share what I did. You know, I started valuing my intelligence more. I started valuing my willpower more. I started valuing my discipline more, right? It's not like I don't like emotions, like necessarily. It's just, I'm like, fuck emotions. Like it, it wasn't getting me what I wanted. So I had to just be a little smarter about things and learn how to use emotions instead of letting emotions use me. Learn how to use feelings instead of you letting feelings use me. Like, I, I, you know, love, for example, like you got to be careful with love. Love can have you doing some crazy shit. So you got to apply your intelligence and make sure that the love you're using the love to, to create, not to destroy. Because love can destroy your life, too. If you love someone and they, the person's bringing you down and you love them so you go down with them. No, you got to be careful, man. You know, that's what I'm saying with these emotions. You got to it's like you got to bring that harmony, that balance where it's like, yeah, you you know, the emotion is there and the feelings are there, but you bring that intelligence, you bring that logic, you bring that discipline there too to balance it out, right? But where people mess up is they they, they, they align so much with the emotion and the emotion keeps changing. So they're, they're, they don't have no consistency, right? They're not moving towards their goal. Like they're going like this instead of going towards their goal, like, straight they're going like this and going down and up and left and right and shit like that because the emotion that's what it does it comes and go the feelings they come and go so i just got it man i just was like yo fuck the bullshit like i'm gonna start aligning you know aligning with my my intelligence more start you know applying my willpower more start being more disciplined being more logical about shit and and when the emotion comes i observe it and i decide do i want to align with this emotion or not i don't just go i don't just let the emotion just throw me around somewhere i'm not with that right learn from my mistake you know enough is enough so this is the practice man it's like learn to create space between you and your feelings create space between you and your emotions and and look at them with intelligence and ask yourself should I take action from this emotion? This emotion that I'm feeling right now, the way how I feel right now, is this the right state to be in when I'm about to take action? Like if I'm about to approach a girl and I, and I feel like shit, is this the right time to approach the girl? Well, it depends. It depends on the goal. Like if the goal is to work on my ability to handle tension and handle my emotions, then yeah, I need to take action from this place. Right, the goal, that's where the intelligence comes in. Sometimes it's, it's the right time to, to approach with the emotion, sometimes it's not. Right, like if your goal is to, you know, present yourself in the best way possible with a specific girl that you have, um, you know, you're gonna have multiple uh, opportunities to see this girl, approach her when you're in your best state of mind, when you're in, your, in the best emotion, that's when you approach her. If it's some random girl that you're never gonna see again, who gives a shit? Just approach her, even if you feel nervous, even if you feel scared, just approach her, cause you're never gonna see her again, right? That's where the intelligence, the logic comes in. So it's like, yo, you got to, you have to value your intelligence and your logic above your emotions, right? That's what's gonna get you towards your goal. That's what's gonna help you to move forward. That's what's gonna help you to get shit going. Your emotions are gonna come and go, they're temporary. Right? Your feelings are going to come and go. They're temporary. One day you feel like this. Next day, like literally. Some days I feel like a, you know, a beast. Some days I kind of feel like a beast. Right? And I got to build it up. I got to, you know, go to, you know, amplify the beast and, and turn him up. Sometimes it's just, he's just ready to go. I just feel like a beast. 
right? Sometimes I just feel very peaceful. I just want to chill out and relax, right? Sometimes I, right? So I can't just, whatever the feeling is, I got to make sure I apply my intelligence, okay? I see what, I see how I feel right now. Can I just go with this feeling right now or do I need to shift? Because you can shift it too. You can shift the feeling. The feeling will follow your action, right? So if I want to feel like a beast, I'll start taking some beast activities. I'll get down and do some one-arm push-ups. Ain't no way you could get down and do one-arm push-ups and not feel like a beast after that. Or if you can't do one-arm push-ups, you do two-arm push-ups and you do like a good amount. You're going to feel different, right? Or if I feel tired, sometimes I'll go and take a nap, right? I feel tired, I need to go and take a nap, man. Right, depending on the, but I apply my intelligence. I, I check and see, is this a good time to take a nap or do I need to handle my shit first? You see what I'm saying? So, but it, it's not easy. It's a practice. This is something you practice and you get better at it. You get better at valuing your intelligence and your discipline and your logic and your willpower over your emotions and your feelings. And the better you get at this, I promise you, the better the quality of your life will get. Right? Because your goals are, are going to be, your goals are going to be hit based on your habits, right? And habits are not about how you feel. A habit is something that you do no matter what, right? So that's where the discipline comes in. That's where the logic comes in. It's like, okay, I know what my goal is, so I have to get this shit done no matter how I feel. There's certain things in my day that are going to get done no matter what. No matter if I feel sad, no matter if I feel happy, no matter if I feel tired, no matter if I feel energized, all right? It, does, it doesn't matter. I have to do what I have to do. I know what my goal is. I know what my vision is. I know what my purpose is. All right, bet. So then let's make it happen. So that's what it is, man. Don't let your feelings throw you around and make you weak and have you, you know, taking one step forward and two steps, steps back and shit like that. Apply your intelligence to your life. Apply your willpower to your life. Apply discipline. Value these things. Value these things above your feelings and emotions and watch your life change. Watch your life take off. All right? If you're a man watching this and you want to become unbreakable in your confidence, you want to learn how to eliminate the fear of approaching women and handle your dating life and become the best version of yourself, the most attractive version of yourself, join the Unbreakable Beast Tribe. I'll leave a link to the group in the comment section. I'll see you inside. Peace.